guys, it's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing good on this sensational Sunday. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Namaste, love and blessings to you, love and light. And thank you for the support. If you don't mind, can you please give me the honor of like, subscribe, and even hit that notification button so you know I'm about to upload my next video. Even give me a thumbs up if you can. Even drop a comment down at the bottom. Let me know what you think. And if you are a returning sub, you already know. Thanks for the support. Namaste, love, and light to you, and many blessings as well. Today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Happy Thanksgiving. If, guys, if I don't talk to you by Thursday, happy Thanksgiving. And basically, what are you thankful for? What are you thankful for? We go through so many things. We go through good things. We go through bad things. We go through stressful things. We go through heartaches. But we have to be thankful for all those things. I know you're like, what, girl, what are you talking about? And some people know what I'm, they, they getting what I'm talking about. You, you can't, everything has a balance to it. Everything has a balance. Oh, and today, before I, before I stop, let me stop for a second. I'm listening to my girl, Erica Badu. The instrumental of on and on that is that is my girl she knows she be spitting some real stuff but anyways be grateful we got to be grateful for everything the good and the bad all of it we have to be thankful and grateful for it all you know and then it's just even when bad things happen we might be pissed but you always gotta thank the universe for giving you that experience because you might go through it again and you might already know how to respond to it it might not be as you know that kick to the you know to the chest or to the gut or to the you know the manhood whatever but we still got to be grateful for it everything has a balance you can't take the good without the bad and it's just if you when you take all those in and you're grateful for it because i'm telling you when you start showing the gratitude to the universe and to the angels spirit guides whatever you want to do they'll they'll tend things will tend to work out better for you even though like I say in every video, you might not be where you're at right at that point, but be grateful you're not like you were a couple of days ago or yesterday or last week or last month or last year because nobody's never the same person every day. You know, if you are, something's wrong with you. <laughs> you need some help. You need some prayer. You know, last video, guys, I was all up in my feelings and I apologize for that, but the spirit guys told me I had to go ahead and push that out you know and it just so happens I you know I opened up and I was like Ugh! you know I had even had an ugly cry so I apologize for that but that's showing my human side everybody you'll see me when I'm acting a fool and you know being funny and laughing and imitate my dad and stuff like that and then you'll see me a days where I might be sad or whatever but just to know hey we all have our moments we all have our moments and I was grateful for that because there was so many things I had to be grateful for there's so many things I have to be grateful for because I'm not where I used to be. You know, I can sit up here and dwell, you know, the fact is my dad passed away. I never got a chance to meet him. My family, you know, they're, they're strangers, but, you know, I appreciate them. And I let them go with love and light. You know what I'm saying? And I, I got to, you, you got to. And, um, it, it's just when you go through things be grateful for it you know when you go through things that you cannot bear you ask god for that strength you ask for you know Ar archangel michael he protects and then he takes things out and replaces it with love and light you know archangel raphael you know they they send love and light too whatever you can resonate with call on that angel and you know my friends just like girl can you call on for me no i can't do that I cannot do that. You got to do it yourself. Because it's not, it'll work for me, but it won't work for you. You won't be able to feel it. So it's just like when you go through things and we don't understand the things that we're going through. Because you, you could be on a journey and you might not understand exactly where it's going. But it's not meant for you to do that. Sometimes it's meant for you to understand and sometimes it's not. Because the fact is, you already you already know if you were in a good book, if you already knew the end to it, would you ever sit down and read that book? If you knew the end to it. Mm -mm. No. And I I used to get like that, like, hot dog, how is my stuff going to come out? 
you know, is it going to come out this way? Is it come out that way? I just can't think about that no more. Even though it, it's in the back of my mind, I just got to enjoy the ride that I'm on right now. Live for the now. You know, you can't worry about the past anymore because the past you can never change. You can't worry about the future because it's not even here yet. You can just, you know, when you get a mindset up, just put positive thoughts in your head when it comes to the future. Just say, okay, this is what I want to do and pursue that goal and go for it. But don't give up if you got to take a break. Like I said, take a break. Don't be hard on yourself. Just go ahead and do what you got to do. But always give thanks to the person above, whether it's good or bad. You know, it's just like when I was talking about that little boy, um, Aiden, and his mom, Lindsay. Um, it, it's just like, it was so sad. And it's just like every time I go on Facebook and I see that precious little boy on, on there, it, it breaks my heart. But then I see how much good his his death, and that's sad to say, how much good his death has brought to people. Because now people are more aware, even though we knew that, you know, children have leukemia and all these different cancer cancerous things that's going on with them, which is very sad. But Aiden has made a pathway for all these little different babies that are going on with the same thing he's going on. And it's just like his family is he's under God's wing right now and it's just I, I feel myself getting emotional because it's a good feeling even though it's a sad situation that that little boy had to be snatched away like that because he really didn't get to live a life but he has made a pathway for all these other children that no telling what what will come out of this and it is sad when it always has to take a, a death for something like that to happen it's sad but that's usually if you look at it from that way that's how I see it you know even though this little boy has gotten snatched away from his mom his mom is going through so many different things and I can't even imagine what that lady is going through and I, I just keep her in my prayers I keep her in my prayers because it's nothing like bearing your child and seeing your ch child deteriorate like that and go through pain and you just can't take anything away and it's just now it's like so many people have started pages and you know you never know they probably gonna start charities up. if I had the money to do it trust me I would start something too because these children don't need to be anybody nobody needs to be a guinea pig over any medication if you don't know if this stuff don't work don't be trying to give it to somebody's children do not try to give it to somebody's children so it's just like when I think about things like that um when I think about things like that, um, I had to really look at it, you know, and it, it's a blessing. It really is a blessing. I'm sorry, guys, that, that, that my messenger just went off and it messed me up. But it's just like when I looked at it, it's just like, wow, you know, there's so many people that's reaching out, you know, to their family and they're doing so many prayers. And there's so many people that Aiden just opened up people's hearts. Aiden has opened up so many people's hearts and that's what I'm saying it's just like it always when there's a tragedy like that there's always something that comes out of it that might be a good thing to me it is it's like if you it just depends on how you look at it but guys I'm not gonna hold you up today I hope you guys had a blessed weekend and I will talk to you soon remember keep on your affirmations pray meditate do what you need to do to cleanse your heart and your soul and we're gonna be okay just because you know it might be a jacked up day today there's always you always tomorrow you can start always over tomorrow it's never too late it's never too late and if you can it's just like spreading love you know when you see somebody in the store say happy thanksgiving even though you might not see these folks and don't even know them i told them this, you know three or four people today i didn't even know if i don't see you for thanksgiving happy thanksgiving you have a blessed day and you know you're just shooting out sending love to everybody else that needed you never know they might have been having a crappy day you might you say, have a blessed day happy thanksgiving happy holidays you know if, if you you know celebrate stuff like that but i'm not gonna hold you guys up please like and subscribe hit the notification button and please hit the bell so you know i'm about to upload my next video even drop a comment thumbs up if you will and i will talk to you on my next video peace and be wild much love to ya. Holla.